Energy affordability is a topic of discussion around the country. Whether it's concern about higher prices at the pump or concern over home energy bills, people are looking for ways to save energy and money. Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Jarvis with Pepco. We'd like to share some energy efficiency tips that may help you achieve that goal. Joining me now is Pepco energy efficiency expert, Jim Sinelli. Jim? Thanks, Debbie. I'm here at the home of Linda Pearson Bird, and over the next several minutes, we're going to show Linda and you at home what you can do to cut your energy costs during the winter months. Mm -hmm. Linda, why don't we take a look outside? Okay. Now let's take a look at the windows here, Linda. They look like they're in pretty good shape for the most part. Um, there is some caulking that's deteriorating, and what you want to do there is remove the old caulking. Use a screwdriver, scrape it out, and then replace it with all new caulking. What this will do is prevent air from getting inside the house, and it'll make it a lot more comfortable for you. Let's see what else. Um, here, you have uh, some cables, telephone wire that's coming into the house. We want to make sure that any of these holes that are here, mm -hmm. you want to make sure they're caulked up as well. Yeah. Because again, air can get inside there, gets under the siding, and will find its way inside the house. So we want to seal that up with caulk and make sure you got a nice closed seal. Okay? Okay, Linda, this is a great idea. You have a storm door here, mm -hmm. and this will keep a lot of the cold air out of the house. But you are missing part of your door sweep here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that air is going to get in under the door and make its way into the house. So we want to make sure we replace that. So why don't we go inside and take a look in there, see okay. what's going on? Okay. Linda, I noticed you have your thermostat set for your heating at 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. That is a terrific thing. Did you know that for every degree below 70, you could potentially save 3% on your heating bill? No, I had no idea. That's right, 3%, it's quite a bit. Well, good. So good job there. During the colder months, consider setting your thermostat at 68 degrees or less when at home during the day. At night or when you're not at home, set it at 62 degrees or less. For some, it may be healthier to set your thermostat for comfort. Now we're down here in the basement and we're looking at the furnace. Now this home has a brand new warm air furnace installation, but whether a unit is new or old, it needs to be maintained periodically. One of the quickest and easiest things a homeowner can do is to change the filters on a monthly basis. Let me show you how it's done. Just simply locate where the air filter is, slip out the old one, and replace it with a new one. Now some units have a washable filter, and all you need to do is pull it out, rinse it out, let it dry, and replace it back in. It's as simple as that. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the water heater. And that's right around the corner. Now this looks like a, a newer water heater and it's an efficient uh, unit. But one of the quickest and easiest things a customer can do with this is to make sure the temperature setting is proper. Looking at this dial, the temperature is set up around hot and that would indicate a setting of 140 degrees or higher. Water heaters should be set at 120 degrees and 130 degrees if you have a dishwasher. So what we're going to do here is dial this down a little bit towards the warmer setting and that should save them a lot of energy. For hot water heating systems, periodically bleed the system of air. Now to some tips for washing and drying clothes at home. Whenever possible, wash clothes in cold water. You can save as much as fifty dollars or more a year. There are even special detergents designed for washing in cold water. Make sure your washer is fully loaded. This helps save energy and water. And when it's time to dry your clothes, make sure your dryer is vented properly. Clean the lint trap after every use to keep the dryer running efficiently and to avoid the risk of fire. When it comes to hot water usage, consider showering and reducing the shower time instead of taking a bath. When shaving, washing, or brushing teeth, turn off the water unless you are actually using it. Linda, you have a warm air heating system and it's important when placing furniture or carpets or any items that you're not blocking any of the vents. I noticed here by the front door you have a rug covering over one of your vents. Make sure that that's kept nice and clear so that the warm air can come up into the space. 
Okay? If you have rooms in your home that are not in use, consider closing vents or turning off radiators and close the doors. It's a quick and easy tip that requires no investment but can save you money. Now, Linda, I'm going to show you a quick, easy tip on how to find those drafty areas where air is coming into the home. Okay. All you need is a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Just moisten the back of your hand. Mm -hmm. If you hold that for me. Sure. And go over to the window, mm -hmm. and we're going to take our hand, back of the hand, and because it's wet, you're going to feel the air coming through. Mm -hmm. So wherever you feel air coming through, mm -hmm. just like that, go over to the, any of the outlets, or switch plates on the exterior wall. See if there's air coming through there. I could feel air coming right on through these uh, switch plates. And then move over to the door, all around the door frame. Now I feel a lot of air coming through here. Yeah. Now what we want to do here to, to fix that mm -hmm. is where the, the door and the frame meet together, you want to put some weather stripping in between that. For the switch plates, they have a nice little insulator that goes inside the cover, and I'll show you how to do that. And then over here at the window, there's a large crack along the window sill, mm -hmm. which what you could do there is fill it in with caulk, and that'll seal that up. It's as simple as that. Now, Linda, another great energy know-how tip mm -hmm. is on nice, warm, sunny days, open up the blinds and drapes and let the sun in, let it naturally warm up the home. Okay. As it gets closer to dusk and gets darker out, Close the windows and drapes, and you lock in all that nice heat inside the home and keep the cold air out. Oh, okay. That's nice and simple and easy. I can do that. Very easy to do. Anybody can do it. Jim says you'll want to insulate behind outlet covers as well as switch plates. Just remove the cover, insert the appropriately sized insulation, which are available at most hardware stores. and then replace the cover. The insulation stops the cold air from coming in. Linda, remember when your mom used to tell you to turn out a light whenever you left the room? Yes. Well, that's still good advice today. Okay. But you know, in addition, our homes today use a lot more energy with all the appliances. Mm -hmm. We have computers, televisions in the bedroom. Right. Make sure you turn all those off too when they're not being used. Okay. All right. All right. So what did you think about all the no-cost, low-cost, and energy tips we gave you today? I love it. They're so easy that even I can do them. Terrific. I'm glad we could help. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Take care now. You too. Bye-bye. Nice job, Jim. Thank you, Linda. There are a lot more tips that you may want to consider. You can log on to our website at pepco.com and go to our Energy Know-How section where you'll find our brochure, 85 Ways to Save Money and Energy. You can also sign up for our budget billing option. Budget billing helps you avoid seasonal peaks in your electric bills by dividing your payments evenly over the course of the entire year. This plan makes it easier for you to budget and pay your electric bill each month because you know your regular payment amount. If you prefer, you can call us at 202-833-7500 to request the brochure or sign up for budget billing. We hope you agree there are lots of ways for you to save energy and money as we all work through the challenges of higher energy prices. I'm Debbie Jarvis with Pepco. Thanks for watching. This energy know-how video was produced in conjunction with the Rising Energy Task Force, Delmarva Consumer Council, Project Concern, and Delmarva Power.